Hi everyone, this is Tony Lu from Honeywell. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload software into an integrated multi-mode receiver or IMMR for short while the LIU is still in the eBay. So let's get started. In order to upload software into an IMMR while the LIU is still in the eBay, you will need the IMMR Dialog Adapter Kit right here. It comes in a container like this. On the left here, this is the adapter that you will insert into the tray before you put the IMMR back on the tray. In the kit, there's also Ethernet cable. And there's also a adapter cable for your portable data loader. Just in case your portable data loader cable does not bring out the RJ45 connection needed for the adapter. So this end is just a RJ45 connection. And then the other end is where you connect to the portable data loader. And this cable is made specifically for the PMAT2000, which is the portable data loader I'm using for this demonstration right here. And over here is the tray for the demonstration. And this is a standard 3MCU tray that you find in the eBay. And then finally, the IMMI itself for the demonstration right here. Now, if in the eBay, if you have an LIU on the side of the IMMR, you might need to remove that LIU in order to access the Ethernet port on the adapter in order to download the IMMR. I will show you that. Here's the download adapter. There are two RJ45 ports, one on the left, one on the right. You cannot use both at the same time, you can only use one at a time. And for this demonstration, I'm going to use the one on the left. So I'm going to remove this protective cover. Then I'm going to remove the protective cover on the airing connectors. And this end, this is the end you plug in the back of the tray. like so and to remove it you just pull on these two straps right here comes off pretty easily okay the next thing you insert the IMMR onto the adapter like so and now we have to connect the Ethernet port on the adapter to the portable data loader so I'm going to use the Ethernet cable that comes in the kit. I'll connect one end of the cable to the adapter. And then the other end you connect to your portable data loader. Now for this demonstration, I'm not using the adapter cable that comes in the kit because I'm going to data load from an external USB device, so I need access to a USB port on the portable data loader and the adopted cable that comes in the kit does not have the USB access so I'm just using the one that that comes with our PMAT2000 right here so the next thing you do is power on the IMMR So you notice that there's two red lights on the front panel when the IMMR is powered on. Within five seconds or so, you see two red LED. That's normal because of the adapter they were using. So that's the expected behavior. And right now we are ready to take a load. This is the main menu for PMAT 2000 portable data loader. To upload software into the IMMR, you're going to select the Airwing 615A data loader. And then you enter the username. I'm going to use test. For the tail number, I'm just going to select other and use test again.
Then for the connection type, I'm going to use existing connection. This portable data loader is already configured to talk to the IMMR. So its IP address and subnet mask are all configured already. I'm going to select continue. To verify the portable data loader can see the IMMR, you can select get information. You see the target detected. Because the data load adapter has minimal wiring to just support data loading only, the IMMR is, going to, is not going to be operational and it doesn't have the program pins wire, so it's going to announce it as STI0 and the target name is going to be invalid. That's perfectly fine. We just need to upload software into the IMMR. So you can click on go back and select upload and then select target and continue. We're going to upload software from the external USB device. So we're going to select removable media and the external USB device is on drive D. So we're going to select D here and it's detecting that there is a software part to load on the root folder of the USB device. So you're going to have to copy the media files for the software into the root folder of, a, of the external device. If you're going to load from the external device, you select the part here and then select continue. And you click on checkbox for load serial and then continue upload. So now the upload is in progress and the front panel LEDs will indicate that it is in the uploading software mode. So I'll show you that. So the front panel LED is showing three green LEDs. The top and bottom are flashing, indicating it's in the uh, data load mode, uploading software. The uploading is going to take a few minutes. When it's done, the three LED is going to be green and steady for about five seconds. And then the IMMR is going to restart and start running with the new software. So we're going to skip ahead to the end of the loading. Okay, <clears throat> you see the data load is complete. The status show complete with the HNR part number shown here. You can click on show report see the order file to upload it successfully and click on close and you can verify the HNR part number is correct by going to get information and then select the target and then select continue and then click on show report here to see the output of the get information command so you can verify the hardware part number of the IMMR just reported and the software part number, the HNR part number shown here. Again, because the data loader adapter has minimal wiring, it's not going to show the proper name here. For the IMMR, it's going to show as invalid, but it will report the part number or the serial number for the IMMR and the part number of the IMMR. So this verify that the software is loaded correctly. And because the IMMR is still connected to the day loader adapter you're going to see two red LED on the front let me show you that so it's still showing two red LEDs but the uploading is complete so the next thing would be to power down the IMMR remove the IMMR from the day loader adapter and then remove the day loader adapter from the tray and then we insert the IMMR back in the tray and then power on the IMMR and it should be operational with the new software. So this concludes the uh, demonstration and thank you for watching.